Hey, what's up, guys? Mr. Biggie Mac, aka Big Daddy Dippin', uh, here to show you guys today how to set up your Logitech Webcam Pro uh, to shoot in high definition. And I get a lot of questions on how do I get my cam to look so good and how do I have it set up. So I figured I'd make a quick video for you guys. Um, the biggest thing for me, and this is probably going to look really weird for you guys right now, but as you can see down here, um, do not run the automatic update for it. Okay, you want to use the CD that comes with it, because uh, if you do the automatic update, you lose the 920 by 720 or 960 by 720 HD, and uh, that really makes a really nice video. So let me get this out of the way. So making more making this guy's motion sick no more. Um, and yes, I'm not using a tripod. I'm just holding the uh, the camera in front of me here. So the setting, it's all in the settings, guys. Um, you want to make sure you go into the eyeball tab here and first things off shut off the automatic right light um, that does nothing but screw up the video uh, it fights itself over the white balance and the contrast so just go ahead and shut that off and shut off your uh, automatic exposure settings um, in my video settings um, I have it like this and as you can see the white that's on here now that has too much so I just dragged it down and turned down the the gain on it. Um, the exposure, you get more white, more dark. Um, and the best way to do this, guys, is is click the red bar and use your wheel on your mouse. And that way you can get right in there on that little sweet spot where it looks the right, you know, the best to you. Because uh, if you sit there and if you try to, you know, slide it back and forth, you're missing a lot of clicks in between there. So use your wheel and it will hit every single little click to where it can go for a setting. Okay, um, your audio, always use your, um, your best microphone you have. Uh, you click this, you can use the microphone that comes with the Logitech webcam. It's built in. Um, I don't use it. I don't think it is of good quality. I use my MXL 990 microphone that you see in my videos. Um, but the uh, another deal with here is, is the manual focus. I don't use autofocus because if you try moving something, and uh, you know, so you get a cast of light over you or something like that. Um, it tries to autofocus, and you'll see a lot of people where you know they'll be sitting there talking to you, and the next thing you know, it's like, you know what I mean? Uh, I know you guys have seen it in some videos, or you'll see a lot of pixelating, a lot of little boxes popping up, you know, little box pixels and stuff like that. So once you have your webcam set exactly where you want it, as you can see right now, I'm out of focus because you could tell with the lines being on there. Okay. Um, there now it's now it's in focus. So, um, but yeah, once you have your webcam set up, you want to have your lights up. You want to have your webcam set up um, as much light as possible for every camera situation. Uh, the more natural light you have, um, the better off you're going to be. Now, your regular like 60 watt glass round light bulbs are not a good choice. Um, if you can get some swirl the spir the spiral ones, the swirly ones that they're like a um. A tube light, you know, or a tube light, like ones you see in like shops or you see in like basements on the ceiling. Um, you can go to like Lowe's and get one of them for like 10 or 15 bucks. And um, a lot of them come with the plug where you can just plug it into a wall now. So, uh, you know, you could do that and just freaking, you know, like use a hanger or bungee cord and, and hook it to a chair or something in front of you and turn it on and you'll have really good light with that. Uh, me, I get these lights here through. Um, uh, so you can see that the lighting and everything's off now because of the um, what I had to do because of the screen coloring. Um, these lights here, they're a, a white light on on poles. There's my buddy sleeping, <laughs> my Jake, yes, my son. Um, these lights here, I don't know if you'll be able to see it if I shut that off. Um, not really. They're a, a four finger tube light that goes over. Um, they're very very bright. Um, I have one actually up there on my desk too that I have faced the other way right now because it was just way too bright. I'm not making a video so it was just blinding the hell out of me. Um, the more white light you have, more natural light you have, the better your videos are going to show up. Um, but like I said, get into where you, you're getting everything set up. Sit down, always adjust your, your settings. Um, your manual focus, you want to go in, use your spinner wheel, get it to where it's perfect, no lines, no no little pixels, nothing like that. 
Uh, face tracking gets turned off. Um, follow my face for widescreen videos off. And throw a white towel over your shoulder and check your brightness, your white intensity, and all that stuff. Um, and remember, always click the red bar and use your spinner wheel and adjust it that way. Um, because if you try clicking or you try sliding, you miss a lot of stuff, a lot of spaces. Uh, and it just moves too much. So if you do one click at a time, you know, here's one click, 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 click. You um you see you're getting you're getting a lot better view of what your how you can how you can set it up. But uh, like I said, guys, autofocus off, turn it to manual. Uh, the biggest thing here is the do not use right light settings um, and do not use the automatic settings for gain and exposure. Um, here I have it turned all the way down and exposure is halfway. But you'll see once you have a background behind you and you have colored clothing on and stuff like that, you're going to want to turn these up and get them adjusted to where they can go uh, to look right. So, um, like I said, as you can see here, watch the colors on the screen. These are like all different. There's tons and tons of little clicks that you're missing um, when you're going like this, trying to get everything set. So click the red bar, guys, and drag it with your, your wheel on your mouse. Um, that's the best thing you can do, best way to get it set up. Um, like I said, lighting, um, just quick overview. Make sure you have good light, good white light, lots of light. Um, manual focus, uh, you know, get your stuff set up, like I said. Adjust it to where it looks perfect. No lines, no bumps, no nothing. Um, see, like here, where it's, here's out of focus. Here's where it's going in. You can see, like, the little lines, the little ridges waving across there. Then you get it to there and you don't see the, the lines and stuff on there as much. But because you're looking at a screen, you're going to see it because of the pixel lines and stuff like that. But uh, face tracking is off. Find my face, like I said, is off. And just adjust all this. Like I said, guys, the best way to do it is get either a white piece of computer paper, uh, fold it, hang it out of your neckline or something, or throw a white towel or put a white t-shirt on or throw a white shirt over your shoulder. Um, to adjust for your your whites and your brights and um, that's really it guys it uh, it's real simple like I said the main thing is to remember is the more light the better and do not use the automatic right light settings on this camera um, it really throws everything off um, and that's exactly how I do it and don't forget that the do not run the automatic update for this uh, if you run the automatic update you lose the 960 by 720 HD setting, and that's what I run all my videos in. Um, you do lose that when you do the automatic update, uh, so use the drivers and everything that's on your CD. That's what I do, and you see how good my video comes out. But, uh, but yeah, guys, that's, that's really it. Um, just remember, anytime you go to do a video, um, because stuff does mess up, always do your test video. Make sure your audio is in there. Um, hit stop record, uh, go over, click the video that's going to come down to here, um, make sure your audio sounds good, adjust your audio through there, um, you know, you can come over here and you can adjust your audio through this slider here, um, me, I have the, uh, I have it on a mixer here because of my studio mic and stuff like that, so this is, this doesn't work on here, it's all down there in my mixer, so, um, always test your audio before you make a video. Uh, nothing worse than going through doing a whole video and then going back and seeing, oh fuck, my audio didn't even work. You know, so always test your audio, always test your your lighting and make sure everything's all right. And um, another another big key thing, like I said, guys, manual focus. Um, sit down, throw yourself out of focus. Uh, click the red bar and just lightly um, start turning your your mouse wheel and you will see that you will go in focus and it'll be crisp and clear and and look super so that's it guys this is mr biggie mac aka big daddy dippin saying see you guys on youtube have a good one